want to say what was in your car when you uh, opened the hood? So I jumped uh, into my car, just pulled it over here to check the oil. As soon as I opened the hood, a black cat jumped out. Checking if there's a cat in my car. There's physically no place a cat could be. August, we're almost to LA. Pretty, uh, pretty exciting there. Now, yeah. Oh, we made it. What do you want? This music home? No. Oh. Heck. Full drum set. Got three guitars. Keyboard. TV. That's a bed. We can learn to play guitar. Mm -hmm. Kitchen setup. But the best thing we got Wally. So, we've gotten pretty much everything out of the cars. We don't know what to put anything, it's just kind of getting it all chill here until we get the apartment. But yeah, we got Indiana Jones on. That was an awful. <laughs> My clap was better. <laughs> I got a few questions here, Matt. All right. So I guess we'll, they've pretty much seen my end of stuff as we've been driving. Yeah. So uh, how was your experience driving? I thought it was fine, honestly. Um, I'm sure our experiences were pretty similar. Uh, a lot of looking out the window, listening <laughs> to... Uh, me I did a lot of music and uh, audiobooks. Okay, um, nice. To pass the time, um, which is very nice for passing time because it uh, occupies your attention very easily. Entire stories. Yeah. Didn't you fin how many books did you finish? I, fin I went through two full audiobooks and started the <laughs> third. Okay, nice. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I just listened to a lot of podcasts and some music here and there. Mm. Just hanging out. I had a lot of phone calls with people. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You talked to, like, Ed for a long time. Yeah, I was like, I spoke with Ed for, I think, like, two hours because he was driving himself mm -hmm. back from school. Yeah. So, uh, Matt, what was your favorite part of the trip? Um, I guess my favorite part would be the day that we actually, like, did a lot of touring things in St. Louis. Okay, yeah. Um, no, I definitely saw the most sights then, so if I had to pick one, probably the Arch. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, no, I definitely like the Arch. Mm -hmm. I like St. Louis the best because, what, we gained an hour, got there at, what, 4 o'clock? Yeah. So we had, like, an entire, not day, but mm -hmm. we had a lot of time because we finished that night at, what, 10? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty late. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely late. No, it was cool seeing the arch and what was your least? Hmm. Was it the thing that you just paid? Yeah. <laughs> least favorite part was probably the parking ticket. <laughs> our parking ticket from our favorite part? <laughs> yeah, actually. Yeah. <laughs> the best part of the trip supplied the worst part. Yeah. First day was rough. Yeah. Because it was the first day of driving, so... We just, we're not used to strip driving seven hours and like 45 minutes that day, I yeah, think. it was a lot. And it was a lot of just trees and woods and mm -hmm. the scenery didn't change. Yeah, but at least favorite part was probably just the days of just driving mm -hmm. with no scenery change. Yeah. Those were the, the rough yeah. times. Other days it was like I was ready to get back on the road and keep moving. So uh, was it worth it? <laughs> well, we'll find out soon, I guess. <laughs> Get <I> audiobooks. <laughs> <laughs> I suggest, because like, I know friends that did the drive from like the East Coast to the West Coast, but just trying to gun it. Mm. They did not Doing have a fun a time. Days. They did it in like three days, maybe two days. Not They did not enjoy it one bit, because it was like 
they drove all the way to Texas in one day, mm-hmm. and then like taxed to LA the next day. That would be dreadful. Like, yeah, because we were hating it after like eight hours. If you had to do like 12, 14, 14 hours each day. No. Yeah, no. No, no not a chance. Well, if they did it in two days, that's 20 hours each day. Yeah. Do you just sleep for it? Hold on. I think the stopping places helps a lot. Definitely stopping helps. Stopping and, you know. It was good to take like a full hour for lunch. Yeah. Uh, most days. Because then you get to like relax a little. Uh stretch your legs and not just be sitting in the car for a few minutes for a full hour it was better to yeah like refresh yourself before you get back in the car then when the hour's up and you do get back in the car you're ready to keep moving. yeah you're like okay you're not dreading it yeah let's get this going again yeah definitely use cruise control yeah <laughs> the first found day that out a little late <laughs> what was that i did the first two days without cruise control yeah and then at some point, I asked you, like, hey, do you ever use cruise control? Because I guess I was noticing when I, when you were following me, or if I was following you, you would not be at a consistent no. speed. No. I'm very used to just staying at one speed with cruise control. <laughs> so, like... Well, I was just, like, kind of trying to follow you, but yeah. then cruise control after, I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. No one uses cruise control anymore, so... No. And it was a lifesaver. Surprised. Yeah. Any other thing you want to say? Good. You're good? I'm good. I'm glad we made it. Yeah, I'm glad we made it. Yeah. Now time to find an apartment so we can actually move in. I'm glad we don't have to drive eight hours tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow? <laughs> I'm, I'm sleeping in. I'm sleeping till like one. <laughs> and I'm yeah. <laughs> sleeping to one and I'm just hanging out tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we're ending it. <laughs>